Welcome back. You're listening to Cindy Larvey's show on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Um, thanks for joining me. If you're just tuning in, my guest today is Antika Libby, and she is the founder of Your Own University, and you can find her at yourownuniversity.org. That's .org. If you go to .com, you're going to be ordering uh, college sweatshirts or whatever, something like that. I don't know. Antika, thanks so much for being here today. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, when you talk about this Trinity approach to daily balanced living, I think it's great to talk about this as we head into the holidays, because especially for women, um, holidays do not always represent family, joy, peace, happiness. I mean, there's stress, there's shopping, there's family, there's work, there's cooking, there's running around, and it's like bye-bye balance. So what should we begin doing today with, uh, I think Thanksgiving's what, two weeks away? Go yikes, two weeks yes. away. <laughs> um, what should we begin doing? How can this approach to living our lives, even if you're not involved in a Antica Libby class, what are some things that people can do daily to sort of help them keep balance? Well, I have an awesome thing. The, the trinity that I talk about is really those three aspects, your physical body, your emotional or mental body, and your spirit, mm-hmm. and then source, your relationship with God. So those three things need to be focused on each day. And I have a 40-minute approach that I absolutely love, that 40 minutes being a mother of two, homeschooling my kids, and running a business, I... I can find 40 minutes, and it doesn't have to be 40 minutes all at one time. It can be four 10-minute increments broken up throughout your day, you know, one before each meal or one when you wake up in the morning, one when you go to bed at night. Okay, everyone can do that. Everyone can do that. So Everybody can do this. The first is 10 minutes for your heart, and I'm talking about, like, physical action. So for me, what I do is I get my kids up, and we do dance-off. So (laughs) sometimes it's Barbie. And princess music. <laughs> Other times, you know, I put on some good old Anna's Morissette or something like that, and I just, we just dance. And it doesn't have to be, you know, a workout program or anything. You just need to move. So if you like jumping rope, jump rope. If you like hula hooping, hula hoop. If you like dancing, dance. Um, if you want to go for a 10-minute jog or walk, go and do that. Just get your heart pumping. Move your body physically where your heart's going to get active 10 minutes a day. Okay. Okay. The next is mindful movement. So you're in your body still. I like to lift weights or do yoga, but it's really anything where you're moving and thinking about, okay, my foot is here. So you could do a walking meditation where you're feeling how your joints line up. You're feeling your muscles. You're saying, okay, my quadricep muscle is going to work. And you're just kind of playing with getting to know your physical body, both how it feels and putting your mind into your muscle. Uh huh. Ten minutes there. The next ten minutes is a meditation. And when I say meditation, I mean really picking a goal, a good feeling. So for the holidays, the holidays are stressful. I have so much to do. Uh, writing an affirmation that says, I have this under control. This okay. Is you know, and well, I think closing. we make it way too complicated, and I'm very guilty of that. A lot of us do. So close your eyes, sit down for 10 minutes, set a little timer, and just say, this is easy. I have this. I'm going to find the perfect gift. I have this. Whatever it is that day. And then really accomplish one thing. Don't overextend yourself during this time. Think one thought and just repeat it. Mm -hmm. Your mind will wander away, and that's just opportunity for you to call it back. Right. You know? And it's just practicing getting your mind to think what you want it to do, because our mind is really the beginning of our reality. Okay. And then the next is prayer and quiet time. So prayer is both active prayer. If you, um, you know, have a relationship, for me, is Christ. So, you know, I pray to Christ, and then I... But for a lot of people, listen. it's just spirit-based. Right. It could be spirit. It can be Buddha. It can be, you know, Muhammad. It can be anything. But what, whatever that is for you... You, you know, spend some time giving thanks really mm-hmm. is what you want to give is just feeling that gratitude. It's the number one healing emotion in the body, gratitude and then love. And then, um, and then take some time and just be quiet. Just listen. 
see if you get any like inspirations, any hits is what I call them. And about, you know, five minutes of each of those a day and you're good. You're sailing through the holidays. Transformation (laughs) will happen. That's great. That's great advice. And anybody can do that. I mean, 40 minutes broken up into 10 minute segments. Anyone can do that. You know, I have, um, I try to always have inspirational people on this show. It's kind of what this show is about. And I find that often people who inspire others to live these full and rich lives have experienced adversity in their own lives. And you've had a lot of that, but you're a cancer survivor. How did cancer change and at the same time bless your life? Mm, So many ways. I grew up from 18 months to 13 years old being um, on and off abused physically and sexually and and being beaten. And what that did for me is I had a lot of rage in my teens. Mm -hmm. And what I believe is that that rage and not being able to really communicate, not being able to feel the blessing in my life developed my cancer. I had cervical cancer. I was 21. Ugh. And and when I was 16, they said, you will never have children. And I had horrible cramps. I just had so many problems in that particular area of my, of my body. So I got cancer. It's a good when, way of putting it. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> when I was, when I was 21 and I was going to get the radiation cone biopsy, that whole thing. And I actually flipped out in the doctor's office. I completely lost my, my noodles. They had canceled on me twice. I had a full-time job and was going to school full-time at college at University of Colorado. We don't have a lot and, of time. And I didn't have a lot of time and they'd cancel on me the second time and I just I flipped out in this office and they said, go find another doctor. And I got to find an amazing naturopathic doctor uh-huh. who was really just fell into my lap. And so I went through a year period where I had to learn how to eat for my body. I took and drank this black goo I had a wonderful friend of mine do energy work with me, and I literally got to see my cervix go from blotchy to pink. Wow. Again. And I have two children. Yeah, you now. do. <laughs> Who you dance with. Yeah. So how has it blessed my life? I, I have two amazing, beautiful children, and um, And you're I here, and you're not 21. <laughs> right. I'm not You 21. survived it. All right, I got to take a quick break. Stay with us. You're listening to Cindy Laverty's show. I'll be right back.